So going off of the previous video, where it says regarding the phenomenon of interference in the above experiment. So how do we calculate interference? Well, we know the distances between A and B, and then B and C, right? Because we know that our answer was this. That was B from here, that this was, what is this? That this was nine map units, and that from A to C was 14 map units. So we want to figure out what interference is. So remember that interference is equal to one minus your coefficient of coincidence. I'm just going to write it like that so we know that we're not talking about this. So how do we calculate coefficient of coincidence? Well, that is equal to the number of observed double crossovers, number of double crossovers divided by expected double crossovers. That should be an apostrophe. So how do we calculate the observed? Well, that's already kind of given to us. I'm going to switch to blue. So I know what my observed is. It's 2 plus 4, so that's 6. But how do I calculate my expected number of double crossovers? Well, remember, we take our map units here. So we have 9 map units and 14. And I'm going to divide 9 by 100. And I'm going to multiply that by 14 divided by 100. Or to, to put it bluntly. So let's put that in my calculator and see what I get. So I have 9 divided by 100, 0 0.09, and I'm going to multiply that by 14 divided by 100, and that gives me my answer of 0 0.0126. Six. So remember, this answer here is the probability of double crossovers. So how do I find out the expected number of double crossovers? Well, I'm going to multiply that by the total, which in this context was 1,000. So I take my answer here and I multiply that by 1,000. Value, whenever I multiply these two together, I got 12.6. And whenever I divide these two numbers together of 6 divided by 12.6, well, I get 0.47 or 0.48 to, to round it up. So that's what our coefficient of coincidence is. So when we plug that into interference, I'll do that in green up here, that we have i is equal to 1 minus 0.48, well, I, I, you don't have to be a mathematician to know that if you do that, you're going to get a positive value. So interference in this context is point, about 0.5. I'm, I'm not going to stress the significant figures up here. So if we have a positive interference, uh, that should tell us that, well, that can tell us a lot. The crossover in one region is going to decrease the likelihood of another, which is also why our observed was smaller than our expected double crossover. So just to clarify that the answer for this would be B. The interference is positive.